Beyond the Fallen Angel. This is it. The entrance must be through here. Another coded message in another hidden lab laboratory. A secret tunnel under the graveyard. How long had these things been in Arthurton? Who was responsible for them? And how was all this connected to the Dean's murder? This is spooky. I love it. I'm loving the purple hue. Not liking the destroyed gates. Through the crumbling arches. Past the wooden gates. This must be it! Now all I have to do is find the biggest cross. Come on! There's a million crosses in there! Jenny? Where are you? It's getting really creepy out here. I'm in the old part of the graveyard. Oh no! Every kid in Arthur knew the graveyard was haunted. The ghosts of early settlers walked among the tombstones late at night, waiting to avenge their tragic deaths in the mines. A few months ago, Peggy and Veronica went up there after the curfew with some boys, and they were attacked by a ghost! They were probably hallucinating from all the hairspray. They swore to me, Jenny. You wouldn't lie. I don't believe in ghosts, and the tall tales of a bunch of airheads won't change my mind. Even so, Jenny's skin crawled with goosebumps. It might have been her imagination but the night suddenly seemed a lot darker. Maybe I'll uh, use Mum's flashlight. You know, just, just in case. Oh, interesting. You can leave the flashlight up and down, that's cool. Be back, foul demons. The biggest cross, eh? Is it going to transpire that what I'm standing on is a cross? Something like that. Oh boy, I don't like where this is going. Oh. I don't like where this is going. Not now, not now! Unable to see more than a few inches ahead, our trembling adventurer had no choice but to edge forward, very slowly. Oh great! There's a l oh sorry. Oh great! There's a light over here. What is that? It's coming from the open grave. ghost? Oh, you scared the life out of me. You're scared? You're the one wielding a shovel like an axe murderer. Oh my, oh, you're right. I, I'm sorry. This place is terrifying at night, and here I am waving old Mabel around like a madman. What are you doing out after here after curfew? Mm, I don't know if I can trust this guy. I'm a city appointed grave inspector and I'm here to inspect this grave. Is it Tuesday already? Oh, goodness me. Where are my manners? Hop right in and have a look around. Um, that's okay. I can uh, see it if I'm from here. You're the clue girl, aren't you? Uh, well, uh, oh, you're a poor old man. What a horrible way to die. 
Yeah, I don't really like to talk about it. Blown into a thousand pieces. Oh, what a way to go. No chance to say goodbye. Boom! Gone, just like that. An absolute tragedy. Yeah. And the pain! Oh, can you imagine? Nothing left of him. Hardly seemed worth digging the hole. Well, you're digging a big hole right now. Uh, y yes, ma'am. Regulation size. Six feet, not an inch less. The name's Matt. The second T is silent. Okay, Matt. Gonna need to ask you some questions for my report. Just the usual red tape, you understand? Oh, sure. Fire away. He seems harmless enough. I just need to be sure he's not working for the man in black. Matt, the grave digger. Is that blood? Blood? Where? It's all over your clothes! And your shovel. Oh, that! That's good old Arthurton Arf and red clay. Impossible to wash out. One of the hazards of the job. Why are you digging a grave in the middle of the night? Well, they have to go somewhere. The, the bones. The what? It's the problem with building a grave on top of an old mine. Ground's always shifting. Before you know it, bones are sticking out all over the place. We have to rebury them. It's bad for business. That's terrible. Could be worse. Could be dead. Like all these poor souls. Miss Smith over there. Been by a badger. Wouldn't want to go that way. Right there is Mr. McCarthy. He set himself on fire baking biscuits. And there's your dad, of course. Your poor dead dad. Dead. Are you finished? Oh, uh, sorry. There I go again, talking about the dead. Oh, he knows everything about this place. Uh, anything else to do with the shovel? His name is Matt. There's something on the mat. Oh. Oh, an interesting. You told me your name was Matt. It is, isn't it? Well then, who is Owen? And why are you wearing a shirt? Oh darn, it has fallen off again. Owen was the old groundskeeper. He died digging a grave. Turned out to be his own. Budget cuts. You're wearing a dead man's shirt? Seemed a shame to waste it. He didn't need it anymore, so. That's pretty disgusting, but okay. Have you seen anyone suspicious lurking around tonight? Oh, well, there was this one girl. A girl? She scared the life out of me. Really made me jump. Oh wait, no, that was that was you, wasn't it? You have to forgive me. My memory isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Hmm. Common Daisy, huh? Why do you have a flower in your pocket? I always keep one in there just in case an emergency. People like to leave them by the graves as a tribute. You should take it for your dad. Sure, I'll take the flower. Mm, thank you. Oh, that's nice. That is not. There sure are a lot of people buried here. Well, if they keep dying, we'll keep burying them. Do you know which of these graves has the biggest cross on it? Now there's one I've never heard before. The biggest cross. No, oh, can't say I do. They've all got about the same sized cross, I'd say. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you have any idea how I could find it? You know, you might want to look at that statue up there. There's a list of all the famous miners buried here. It might help you find what you're looking for. Famous miners? 
Interesting. One thing left. Shoes, maybe? Sure is. What's that stuck to your boot? Oh! I don't know. Could have come up from anywhere. Beyond the fallen angel. Hmm? Well, no. Oh! Uh, under the crumbling arches. Uh, you've lost me. The entrance is buried there. Does that mean anything to you? Oh, is this a poem? <laughs> I love poems. Do you want to hear one of mine? No, I'm good. Thanks. Yep. I think it's safe to say he doesn't know anything about the man in black. Well, thanks, Matt. That's the end of the uh, inspection. How did I do? Did I pass? With flying colours. Oh, and if anyone asks, you didn't see me, okay? See who? Exactly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a statue to investigate. Oh no, you can't go up there now. It's far too dangerous. I'll be fine, thanks. Absolutely not. If you slipped and fell, I couldn't have that on my conscience. Come back tomorrow during the day. I'll give you the guided tour. Oh, damn. I'll have to find another way to get up there. Alright, see you then. I found another way up. It's gonna kill me. I just go up this way. Press the wrong button. <laughs> nice. Much like those buried in the graveyard, this tree had died a long time ago. Be careful, Mr. Crow. It looks like it could fall over at any moment. It's kind of one counter now, I think. Try and get to the crow, or it won't let me move. Maybe not. Where else can I go? Let's see. So far, this place is a dead end. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, I see. Huh? Clever. Interesting. of you. Over there. Quickly! To the tree! Is that enough? Or do I need more? I mean, I could try and climb it as it currently is. I mean, it doesn't seem safe, but I could. Nothing stopping me. Yeah, it won't let me climb. Okay, fair enough. I need more crows. More. Hasn't fallen over enough, I guess. There you go. Is that good enough? That'll do it. Another case cracked. Ha! Nothing's gonna stop Jenny. That would not be that strong. So I would go a lot faster than that. But it worked, so I wouldn't complain. Oh! Mr. McCarthy? How did you get down here? Must have been the wind. Oh, that was close. Hopefully this statue can help me find the biggest cross.
Jenny had heard the tragic tale of the cat catastrophic cave-in that closed the mines under Arthurton. Everyone blamed the miners for ignoring safety, pr safety procedures. Most were crushed instantly by the falling rocks. Others had not been so fortunate. Trapped with no water, no food, no light, they were condemned to a slow and painful death. That's not nice. It's a tribute to some of the families who worked in the mines. And there's a cross, not the biggest, but it's a cross. Biggest cross. Cross. Carvers of tunnel rock unmatched in strength and size. Jenny read the words to herself again. Strength and size? Look for the biggest cross. They didn't mean cr a cross on a grave. They meant a cross in a grave. Cross family must be buried in the graveyard below. I've got to work out who was the biggest. Find the grave. Find the secret passage to the jail. Save mum. Boy, I really hope I don't have to dig them up and measure them. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. Oh my god, you can go down here. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh. Before we go down that rope, I want to check what's to the left. I thought there'd be something. You can never be too careful. Scrap piece! Oh, is that it? Have I completed it? I have! Hooray! Uh, where does this go? Somewhere. There, right there. Lovely. Come visit Arpaton. We have wonderful things. I'm going to put this in first. Because it makes this one way easier. There we go. I've completed two postcards. Lovely. Hmm. Twitch bits. <laughs> hey sis, you'll love it here. It always feels like full. Junior year has been a real whirlwind. I'm having a hard time with my dissertation. Tip, don't major in ancient Arthurtonian Arthur culture. So I went to the museum for inspiration, found some some really beautiful jewellery. Give Petey a big hug for me. Did you like the bone I sent him? Gemma. Interesting. Oh, I can't move anymore. That is, that is the end, I see. Um, okay, so down the rope, I guess. We. Oh, that's not a rope I can climb. Wait, is it? Is it not? Interesting. How do I get out then? Oh, I can climb down this. Oh, duh. That was purely accidental. Like, I was just holding down literally accidentally. So that, that was lucky. The treasure. A little sticker. It's a crow. It's a creepy crow. Don't want to fall down. I want to go left. Let's go to the graves over here because there's something there. Oh god, actually, which is the right way to go? I don't know. I want to get the secrets, but I don't want to miss anything. I don't know which is the real way. No. Challenges. Okay, so what's down here? Lots of wind. I feel like I've missed something, but oh well. I probably have, yes. That's a lot of graves. Oh, 
Franz Cross. Linga. Hello, Franz Cross. I was taller than Irvin. One odd epitaph. Okay. Oh, more scrap. Cool. That'll be the next one then. Okay, so it's not that one because there would be. It, I don't know how we could do something with that, but these graves might have something. None of them. Cool. I see a Cooper, Chapman, and Cole. But no cross. You're okay. These are extremely dangerous. I can't see any of these being it on the basis that it would be too dangerous to get to this place. Helga Cross. Here's one. Helga Cross. I was taller than Karina. Seems the Cross family have quite the rivalry. I like this puzzle. This is a cool puzzle. Nope, none of these. Hmm. No cross buried here. Search continues. Let's go up then. I think this will loop around to where we were before. I could be wrong. Casper Cross. Found one. Casper Cross. What have you got to say for yourself? Well, it is a big cross in itself. I was taller than Helga. Well, that's a start then. That's a link to the two. I respect that, Jenny. Any crosses here? Yes. Karina. Aha! Queen Cross. It's still from France. There can't be many more crosses to find. Where haven't I looked yet? Left still. France was the first one, right? So that one was taller than that. Helga was taller than Karina. This one is taller than Helga. So this one, Casper is the tallest one. So far. If my math works out. Which it might not. Cannot go down there. Yeah, where haven't I looked? Can I jump to the left here? Oh, good. Yeah, good question. Where haven't I looked? Um, I don't know. This is a very cool area though. I really like the idea. Pretty neat mystery. So this was the first area, yes? I may need to go back on myself, but... I figure it can't hurt. Yeah, Franz Cross. Right, I'm gonna go back over this way. Again, I'm probably going back on myself, but it's worth it. There was nothing here. Oh, did they go up here? 
Yes, but it didn't go down here. It was right, it was right to go this way then. Yes, I, well, I really hope you have a next adventure, because I'm absolutely loving this game. Okay, do we have another cross here? No. What's down, down below? I mean, the biggest cross surely should be somewhere with structural integrity, because you have to go through there. Like, somewhere on a cliff isn't going to be that good, right? Found one. Ivan. Here's another one. Ivan Cross. How tall are you? Casper is a little liar. Ivan wasn't pulling any punches. Interesting. I just need to work out who was the tallest. Do you have a notebook? Okay, so. Um, so Helga, um, taller than Karina, taller than Franz. It's taller than Ivan. Casper was a liar. I was taller than Helga. So Helga's the tallest. It is Helga! If Casper was lying, then Helga must be the tallest. Which means... Helga's grave is hiding the secret passageway to the drill. Yeah, we got it. Which one's that one? There, apparently. All right then. Interesting. That is such a cool puzzle, though. Oh, that is brilliant. All right, Helga. What are you hiding? Besides the passageway to the jail, what, what what are you hiding? Was it up here? I think so. Oh, it might be right here actually. Was it? No. Yes. No. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, it's here. I think. Helga. And he saw nothing particularly unique about this grave. Like all the others, the slab was weathered, chipped, and covered in moss. There's another epitaph covered into the base. Here lies she, seven foot three, stung by a bee. A small stone pot sat in front of the headstone. A fine layer of soil lines the inside. It's a vase for a flower. A wonderful revelation struck Jenny, as the final piece of the puzzle fell into place. Don't forget to pay your respects. I need to place a flower here! Jenny pulled the gravedigger's daisy from her pocket. I knew this would come in handy. That was fortunate. So what happens if you don't take the flower? Do you just lose? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Ugh. Due to seismic activity, entrance 4 has been temporarily relocated. Thank you for your patience while we upgrade our infrastructure. And please watch your step when crossing. MGMT. It says the entrance was relocated. But it doesn't say where.
Well, that looks safe. Why does everything have to be so convoluted? Mum will have died of old age by the time I reach her. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so really, what happens if I didn't take the, the flower? Do you just lose? Do you have to go back and be like, Yo! I need the flower. <laughs> or do you go up there and not discover but it's been relocated? I don't know. I want to do the playthrough again and just sort of like, do really obscure stuff like, not asking for the flower, just being an absolute dick about it. <laughs> Like, well, let's see what happens. Because it's been a couple of times where it's like, oh, what would actually happen if I didn't have this? Like, I feel like I only won because I had this. And there's seemingly no way to go back and ask for it. Because, like, as it stands here, this there's no way to climb back up. So, I don't know. Fascinating. That was some weird, like, like priority there. Okay, let's, uh... Hmm, <laughs> I would never do this. This looks like you're gonna die. Well, well done, Jenny. You have not died. Yet. Enter the clearing. I will leave. It is time to see where this takes me. Hello? You said if anything strange happened, I should call you. Well, something strange just happened. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is the only tomb here, and with no epitaph. This has to be it! Whoa. When did doors go out of fashion? This is the entrance, and there must be some way to open it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I see. So I want to... No, I don't want to do that. I do want to get this sticker though. Yay, it's a great sticker. Um, okay, so you want to get all the pieces into... There, right, I see. I understand. Um... Okay, so... So where does this move to? Uh, oh! They have to move into specific places. It can't just be anywhere. I see that now. So even this one would have to move. Where? I don't know. Oh boy, this is going to be confusing. Okay, I understand the principle. It's just about getting it right. Okay, so. Let's start removing these down here. Let's get all these out of the way. Um, okay. Move that down there. Good. Because this one needs to go into this top corner. Yes, it does. Okay. Which means one of these crystals can move down here. Okay. So, where's this one going? Not where it currently is. It's top right, I think. 
Yes, it's top right. This is hard. This is really hard, actually. My brain is trying to work out where I can move that. Okay, so if I move that, then that means that I can move. Yes, I assume I've got this right. I love I had it wrong. I do not. Okay, cool. So. Good. I think that one goes in there. Oh, you're not in the... Oh, whoops, I didn't realise. Uh, that's fine, that works fine. I think. I can still move that out of the way. I hope. Um, okay, cool. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now we just need to get that into the bottom. No, where it is now is fine. Because I just need to move that up one, and then I can move in there. Yes? That's it, right? Yes, I think. Yeah, there we go. Puzzle solved. I have seen this screenshot before. I've been wondering when we were going to see it. Jenny peered into the ominous void. A jagged path carved into the earth, plunging deep beneath the rotting soil. How far down did it go? There was only one way to find out. I'm not sure I want to. Gathering her courage, she stepped forward into the distant bowels of Arthurton. <clears throat> I said, she stepped forward into the distant bowels of Arthurton. I like how the way I was moving it, her legs weren't actually moving. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's dark down there. Johnny? Come in, Jenny. Where are you? Have you found your mum yet? Oh, give me a second, please. I need a moment before I walk down a pitch black staircase into the terrifying abyss. Hi, Jenny. Jenny stared into the darkness. She could almost hear her mother's voice calling. The great detective perseveres, no matter the obstacle. And so, she took a deep breath, pushed up the thick frame of her glasses, and crossed the threshold.
here we go. Definitely not creepy. I'm definitely not gonna die. Ha 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 ha. So, presumably this leads to the jail. Or, something completely different, and it's all a trick. I know it's for a good cause, but breaking my man of prison is going to actually get me arrested. So, downsides, upsides, all that sides. Another door. Locked, I presume? Whoever built all this certainly wanted to keep it a secret. Hmm. Here we go. There it is. One more to go. In we go. Jenny was ahead of the man in black. For now. There was still the matter of breaking her mum out of jail and escaping without being caught. Being careful not to make a sound, Jenny stepped cautiously into the dark space below. <laughs> 